Tommy Lloyd and the Arizona men's basketball squad are always busy gearing up for the fall season, whether it be Coach Lloyd still settling in on the road recording or in-house monitoring summer workouts with the Wildcats. And after an informal practice by some of the players, we caught up with some Wildcats this afternoon, including Kirk Kreisa, who's enjoying his move from his native land of Estonia to right here in the Sonoran Desert, including the 100 plus degree heat. Plus the weather here is, uh, uh, I have to give uh, huge respect to all people who have to live through the, the weather here. Plus, uh, obviously, the, I, I start I start liking uh, Mexican food. Uh, obviously, the mountains, the sunsets here. I mean, it's it's just a great place to be in general. It's been a great transition. You know, it's been a ton of fun the last uh, you know month or so getting on the court consistently with the guys. Um, we've got a great group of guys that are you know I think at a, a real exciting point of their career where you know they're young players. You Oh yeah, lots to look forward to. Moving on, the Phoenix Suns are celebrating like it's 1993. That's the last time Arizona's professional basketball squad made it to the NBA Finals, and the celebration is undoubtedly continuing this very moment for some diehard fans. It was a fan fiesta that also went into the wee hours of the morning. First, we have insider footage of compliments of the Phoenix Suns back in Los Angeles as they pass the trophy around the locker room after knocking off the LA Clippers and advancing to the NBA Finals. And then back here in the crazy AZ, thousands of fans welcomed the team back home as they arrived at Phoenix. If this scene is any indication, the question is, what will it be like if they win their first franchise championship later this month? The Suns will take on the winner of the Milwaukee Bucks and Atlanta Hawks series. We have those highlights tonight. The showdown between Atlanta and Milwaukee continues with the Game 5 showdown. And hey, back to the celebration. Check out former Arizona standout DeAndre Ayton being vocal with his teammates while chilling with the trophy. Uh, why is she playing so hard to get? Why is she playing so hard to get, man? Oh yeah. Y'all marinated? Yeah. Together! One, two, three! Together! Uh, trophy playing hard to get. All right, that's the side of DeAndre Ayton. We never got to see during the Sean Miller years at U of A. Got to love his positive energy. And quickly, a reminder about this weekend's big indoor football game with the Tucson Sugar Skulls hosting the Arizona Rattlers. Kickoff at the TCC on Saturday is set for around 7 p.m. There are plenty of tickets available for in-depth coverage of your indoor pro football team. We have much more on KVOA.com. And in some Wimbledon action today, six-seeded Roger Federer would take on Richard Gasquet and Federer was straight up betterer. He would take the first two sets now to match point. Federer will be serving the heat straight caliente. That's an ace. He wins straight set, 7-6, 6-1, 6-4. That's it for now. I'm Paul C. Calda for News 4 Tucson Sports. We'll be right back.